Hey everybody, I hope you're staying happy and healthy, and today we're back with another inventory tour. Today we're going to take a look at Motor Cars of Atlanta. They are an official Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Koenigsegg, McLaren, Lotus, and Rolls-Royce dealership located in Georgia. So, let's take a look. Alright, so here we are at Motor Cars of Atlanta. They are located in Sandy Springs, Georgia, which is just north of Atlanta. And here, we're in the Aston Martin section. So we're met here by a beautiful Aston Martin Repeat S. This is Aston Martin's four-door sedan. It was practically the only family-ish Aston Martin before the new crossover DBX came along. Looks pretty cool, and they I really appreciate how well they adapted the styling of a normal two-door coupe to be a four-door sedan. As we move on, we'll go over here, and we're met by the Aston Martin Vantage. Now, this is actually the previous generation Vantage. There's a new one that came out, but these are actually a pretty good buy if you're looking to start somewhere cheaper in the exotic car market. And then next to that, we have the beautiful Aston Martin DB9. This is the predecessor to the DB11, which is quite popular now. The styling is great, and again, these are very affordable, relatively speaking, if you're looking to get in the exotic car market. We'll take one other look over here. Now, Aston Martin is very popular because of their tie to the James Bond film franchise, as many of you know, and that is one particular reason why I like them. Now, we're met here by the beautiful Aston Martin Vanquish. When this car came out, it was one of my favorite cars of all time. Kind of one really interesting fact about these is they had an original price tag of well over $300,000, and quickly after two or three years, they lost nearly 50% of their value with very little miles on them. So sucks for the original owner, but now you can pick them up pretty cheap and I think it's a great deal for the money. Beautiful V12 engine in it, and the styling looks great. Then we're met next to it by a newer Aston Martin Vanquish Volante. This is basically just the convertible version of this one, maybe a few years newer. Looks awesome. Now, the Vanquish is the predecessor to the DBS Superleggera, which is Aston Martin's new super powerful coupes that look stunning but I still think the Vanquish makes a very, very strong statement. Then, as we look over here, we're outside. We see a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon 4x4 squared. This one is even more special because it has the Brabus package and upgrades on it. So as we kind of move over here, you can see just how big this car is compared to, say, the Aston Martin behind it. Speaking of the Aston Martin behind it, that is a beautiful V12 Vantage, so those are pretty special. Now, one quick thing before we leave the Aston Martin department, all Aston Martin coupes and sedan doors open not straight out, but at a little bit of an angle, which gives it a little extra flair. Now, as we move on over to the McLaren section, we're met by three very unique colors of the same car. We have this beautiful blue, this yellow, and the orange. These are all McLaren 650S Spiders. Again, kind of like the Vanquish, the prices of these absolutely dropped when they were brand new, and they've kind of remained relatively constant between like 130 and 150 on the market. So if you're looking for an exotic McLaren and don't want to lose that much money, these are great. They're just a few years old. The styling still looks awesome. And it's a convertible, so it actually has a hard top, like we can see the top up here. And you can get the sunlight. But as we move on, we see here a beautiful McLaren 570S. This is one of my favorite kind of entry-level cars. 
You can get them for under 200,000, depending on how you spec them, especially on the used car market. And it's a McLaren, so it's just super cool. Now we'll move over here quickly. We're met here by an awesome McLaren Mercedes SLR. This was a kind of joint project between Mercedes and McLaren. And it's one of the coolest Mercedes of all time. The doors come up. The interior is awesome. There's mixed reviews on the styling. The nose is quite long and comes to a point that is up for question. But regardless, this car is very cool. We'll probably never have a project between Mercedes and McLaren like this ever again. And the value of these are steadily going up, so it's becoming a collector's item. Now, as you may have seen, there's one super special car right here. And this is the jewel of the tour. This is the McLaren P1, one of the holy trinity of supercars, of hybrid supercars that came out in around 2013, 2014. Original price was $1.15 million and quickly spiked to well above two, up to $3 million. They're starting to come back down. The Volcano Yellow, which we see here, is my absolute favorite color on the car. But as we see, there's a lot of carbon fiber extras on the body between the rear spoiler and the hood and even an extension of the hood, the mirrors, the roof, everything. Personally, I think this takes away from the styling of the car. I don't want to call it ugly, but I wouldn't necessarily call it attractive. Whole car just covered in volcano yellow, in my opinion, is the way to go. Absolutely gorgeous. But if you love carbon fiber, this is definitely a statement and a unique way to spec your car. So props to that. Now we'll move to the last area of the dealership, which is the Lamborghini area. Didn't want to bypass this beautiful matte black Rolls Royce ghost without mentioning it. So as we turn around, there's a super awesome Aventador or Roadster right here. This blue just pops and the black accents look amazing. And we're also met by a Lamborghini Huracan in the green. A Lamborghini Huracan Spider. You can see with the convertible roof. And then as we move over here, there's two more super awesome Lamborghini Aventadors. This looks like a Roadster. And this looks like it's just a coupe. So that's a pretty good look and pretty good tour of the inventory. One last quick thing to point out. We'll move back to finish our tour by the McLaren P1. But they actually have a pretty cool um, store section here. A lot of Lamborghini shirts. I'm particularly a fan of that one. That's kind of cool. And Lamborghini hats and stuff. Some dealerships don't always have this, um, but this would be a really cool touch. So we'll finish by looking at the McLaren P1 and we'll jump into a quick inventory tour. I'm here on Motorcars of Atlanta's website and we're going to quickly look at their inventory. We have a beautiful Aston Martin DBS Superleggera Volante here. These are quite expensive, coming new at $300,000 over, closer to four hundred, dollars but looks absolutely cool. As a Michigan fan, I love the blue over the yellow brakes and the black rims of the Aston Martin Vantage. This is the new one. The styling is growing on me, but I'm still not a huge fan. But it's still a cool car regardless. We also have an Aston Martin DB11 AMR with kind of the lime green accents. And then this is very special. This is an Aston Martin Rapide AMR. Now, Unlike the DB11 AMR, this is actually limited edition. There were only 210 of these made for the world. So if you want a limited series super sedan, this is definitely got to be on your list. Some more DB11s. They also have a new Vantage AMR, which is also limited edition. There's only two of 200 of these in the world. So if you want kind of a limited production car under $200,000, Definitely a great choice. 
As we move on, they have the new Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider, which is cool. And they have a bunch of new Lotus Evoras. I particularly like this purple on the Evora GT. I think it looks really awesome. As we move on, they have McLaren 600LT, 570Ss, and some 720Ss as well. A new GT, some more 600LTs, and some 570Ss and 720Ss. And then we get into the Rolls Royce. Lots of race, uh, Dawn, some Rolls Royce Cullinans. They this is a Cullinan Black Badge, which is Rolls Royce's more sporty line. And yeah. Now, we'll quickly move into the pre-owned inventory. That was all kind of their new inventory. They have some pretty cool stuff here. This is one car in particular that I wanted to point out. This is the Austin Martin Vanquish Volante Zagato. We'll click on this. There's only 99 of these in the world. This is a special edition Vanquish. That, they, that Zagato, which is a kind of an Italian designer, they did special editions of these. Very sought after collector's cars. I love this styling. We can see how the back tail lights and the front lights, um, especially here in the grill area, are a little different. There's also some Zagato um, touches, like the Z on the side of the car. And this is actually number 19 of 99. It says Zagato, some Zs for Zagato on the inside as well. So, pretty cool. There was the Z on the side. Then, one last thing, we'll continue to look at the pre-owned inventory. We'll scroll down some Audi R8s, Bentley, Ferrari. Ooh, a very nice Lamborghini Urus here. And this is a new Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. This happens to be the cheapest one that I've ever seen. Most of them are well over 500, some in the 600s, and some of the roadsters in the seven or eight hundred thousand dollars. This one does have 4,000 miles on it, but still um, a pretty decent deal. I would say. Then some more Aventadors, a Huracan Performante, some Range Rovers, and then some used McLarens. This is a 600 LT Spider. There's only 500 of these in the world, which is really cool. And then here's a 600 L 675 LT Coupe as well. There's only 500 of these. Very cool, very sought after. I would totally own one if I could. Then as we move on, a Porsche GT3 RS and some more race. So I think this is where we'll stop our tour. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now I would love to get your opinion on the McLaren P1 that we saw or any other cars for that matter. So please comment below and I can't wait to read them. Also, it would mean a lot to me if you would like and subscribe. I got one new subscriber yesterday, so we're making progress. I also, in the description, linked my social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So, if you want, make sure to take a look at those too. We'll have another inventory dealer tour coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I can't wait to see you then.